Earlier this week, I got fortunate enough to get a full unlock of Galadriel, but is she good at low levels of loyalty? In this video, I'm going to break down what I've learned about her skills so far at the low tiers of loyalty and talk about some combinations of skills that you could use once you get to those higher levels of loyalty that might be pretty sick. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chiskool Gaming, and in this Lord of the Rings Rise to War video, we're breaking down Galadriel, who is a solid commander, but maybe not at low levels of loyalty, and I'm going to talk about exactly why that's the case. Now, when I got the full unlock letter from her, man, I was freaking hyped. I immediately started doing mock battling to get her leveled up, and I power leveled her to 43, and I kind of wish I had just kept on focusing on my Gandalf instead. I'm still figuring out what I could do with her, but you'll see why in just a moment at low levels of loyalty, your options are limited unless you've got some really good equipment potentially to sweeten up the deal. Now, before we get into the sort of builds that I found to not work as well as I was hoping, um, and some ideas for what you could do at higher levels of loyalty, I just want to cover the fact that she is a strategist. That means she's going to give 25 focus, 2 skill points, and her poison and burn damage is boosted by 10%. She is an elf, for what it's worth, and she is very heavily stacked on focus. And that's not because of my equipment, that is because of her base stats. 243 at the level that I have her at, okay, for the base value of focus, 83 for the base value of might. She is not a might commander, and she's not all that fast either, at base value of 70 speed. She's not moving all that quickly in the grand scheme of things. Let's get a look, however, at her talent options here, because this is where things get very interesting. The top part of her loyalty, zero through two, is pretty good. This tree over here, increasing your focus damage by 45% and making it so that your normal attacks now cause focus damage. Okay, that all just makes sense with what she's doing because she stacks focus so heavily. Also, the skill Surge happens every three rounds. So there's one, two rounds of warm-up, then the third round it fires off, then another one, two rounds of warm-up, third round it fires off again. This deals 150% focus damage twice. The effect is modified by the focus stat, and each separate attack chooses a different target. So I really like this. Um, it's doing a lot of damage, and I, I don't know if you could overkill a target before, um, but I, I suppose with this, you probably cannot. And then over here, Focus Wrath makes it so that against one enemy target, you deal 198% focus damage, and that effect is modified by the focus stat and inflicts madness for one round. Now, my understanding of madness is that your troops might attack your own allied troops, so you can get an enemy to, like, I think have their units potentially attack each other, if I'm understanding correctly. I don't know that I've encountered this a whole lot, so leave a comment down below for exactly how that madness function works, if you know how that goes. So, this top part is all very interesting, and Focus Wrath, by the way, has a two-round warm-up period, right? It's the bottom part of the tree where things get a little weird, and, and maybe I'm just approaching this wrong, okay? So, I'm open to feedback, and, and maybe I just need more levels or to reallocate some points. This Lady of Lorien ability... It, this is what is problematic. It makes it so that allied units have improved recovery by an upwards of 30%, and when you max it, you get 15% focus. Now, all that's fine, but I just want to emphasize the uh, recovery receive increase of 30%. This influences every way that you receive healing and boosts it, which is OP if you have ways to heal. There's just one problem. There, so far, have not been any abilities I've revealed to you that heal. In fact, there's only one ability in her first set of talents that heals at all. See the problem? So, this is really OP if you have many ways to generate healing. But at low loyalty, you have literally only the one way. And this one way only happens with a seven-round warm-up period. So, on round eight... All allied units recover a bunch of hit points. Well, that's cool, assuming all your allied units are still there. But she has nothing that makes it so that your units survive to that moment in time. 
So you could already have lost a bunch of stuff. It, this is a very powerful heal that I honestly, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, you know, when I think about what I do in PvP, fights really do run long, you know? They they have it either you you kick their butt quickly or they run long. And maybe this parting gift, like once I have this maxed, maybe she is kind of OP. I, I don't, but I'm not so sure. I think that without putting a bunch of points into parting gift, I'm making a huge mistake over here. And the more I talk about this, the more I see that like, yeah, I'll be really curious to sort of try that out and maybe do an update in another video showcasing like how she performs if I go and do that. Because in fights where it doesn't run long, man, you don't get that heal and it's really problematic. It's like, it trades, the fight does not go very well. Now, from what I understand of healing, the way that healing works is that it takes all of your units, which even, it, it, like, dead dead troops do not happen until the end of the fight, right? You have troops basically over the course of the fight getting injured. And then at the end of fight, there's a ratio. Like, these are dead and these are wounded. And you can heal them all the way up until the end of the fight, and they, and they come back. So it could be that parting gift with a lot of points in it, I mean, it's a pretty major heal, and it's all ally units, which, which honestly... I'm going to have to do more testing and double down on that and see how that goes. And the final thing here, purity, a chance of removing debuffs. I mean, I put one point in it. Nah, I don't know. I mean, I like the idea of having a chance to remove debuffs, but I probably would want to have uh, Lady of Loria maxed along with Parting Gift maxed. And then how do you make Galadriel OP if this is what you've done? Honestly, I swear, like literally this morning I wake up and I got a quest done and a, a tavern tip, right? And would you believe the accessory that I got? Now, I can't use it on her because I'm loyalty level zero. Gosh, bless it. I wake up this morning and I get two legendaries and both of them will be perfect for Galadriel. Why is that? All allied units recovery received plus 2%. Okay, wait, that one, wait, that one's not as good. Okay, that's Galadriel's effect. Doesn't do anything unless you already have healing. So, but this, this was the one. Recover 6% hit points each round. Oh my God. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All allied ranged units recover 6% hit points each round. Does that stack with Galadriel? I'm pretty sure that would stack with Galadriel, okay? So that wouldn't become 6%. Wouldn't that become 36% each round? And suddenly, like if you stack those healing items with Lady of Lorien, I don't know, man. That seems like it would be super OP. I'd be really eager for your thoughts about that down below in the comments because... Like, every piece of gear, you would want to do some healing like that. And then, I mean, then, I, whoa, she would be super OP and terrifying, terrifying. But if you did get her to loyalty level three, what do you get? All allied units for the first three instances of damage um, reduce the damage that they receive, and that's modified by the focus stat. That is insane. You, you have a really great start into the fight. Reduce the damage you receive substantially. This is something you would want to do probably... If you had really great equipment and you were stacking tons of focus because it's going to get really modified significantly by that. Also, I don't know what this max effect ability does. If you know, let me know. <laughs> uh, damage, debuff comes into effect once more. Oh, do they mean that this this happens for the first three instances of damage received and then the, the next three instances of damage is received? Like instances four through six? Do they mean this buff happens twice? This is a buff, right? Anyways, okay. And then down below, um, all your allies increase their damage to orcs, orakai, and trolls by 4% per. Pretty nuts if that's what you're fighting, but irrelevant otherwise. And then, this is really tanky. I mean, high alert reduces your focus burn and poison damage received. Like, wow. If you're fighting other commanders that do those things, that is a lot a lot of damage reduction. Honestly astonishing. Like, I could see high alert being really insane. And then over here at the top end of things, uh, you can improve her focus very substantially. Oh my god. You can put so much focus onto this commander, it's nuts. And by the way, at the max level, you get an additional 15 focus. Up top, recovering units. One allied unit recovers 51.4% of hit points and gains a 50% chance of gaining another... 51.4% of hit points. And that's just at the base level. Oh my God. Dude, and that is with a two-round warm-up period. Oh my goodness. So once you get 
up to loyalty level 5. You could do some really OP stuff with Lady of Lorien and this healing over here. Also, down below, you get the Magical Barrier Army Defense, plus 3.2 during combat, modified by Focus Stat, man. God. So, I think she is very strong. I think there are some possibilities, maybe even at low rank, like low loyalty, that if I play around with her build a little bit more and I put her in the right situation, it goes really well. I can tell you now when I sweep, like, it's really gross. I have so many dead troops when I sweep with her. It's like, ah, uh, what's happening? And it's because I'm not getting this heal. I think I really need to have this maxed, put her into a longer fight, and then let this big heal do its thing. If I had her loyalty higher, man, if I had her loyalty higher, I could put on that accessory that I just got that does healing. If I had all equipment that did that healing, would that be really OP? I feel like it could be. I've got some equipment management that I definitely need to do. I don't have any of these weapons that mod I don't even know if there is a weapon that will do that healing I don't know I'm gonna have to figure all of that out and if you wanted to unlock Galadriel for what it's worth you go to recruit the commander we go to tier three and for Galadriel the option that you have here is this lost score that only works for Galadriel so if you want to get this you're gonna have to go to the peddler and you're going to have to select the item in your sort of desired items. So you go to rare treasures, you go to your wish list, you make your way down to the perfect settings, and you would need to pick the item for her, which I have not chosen, but there it is, lost score. In fact, I should almost certainly go choose that now, just because I have her, and getting more loyalty would be awesome. So I changed that configuration back out of there, and I think I'm good to go. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. I've still got more testing to do with Galadriel, and if I figure out a way to just crack her with low loyalty, I will definitely let you know. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies.